What's up you guys? Today we're gonna go through how to determine the market we are in. Before you buy a home, you want to identify which market we are in. You got the two types of market. You got the seller's market and you got the buyer's market. So how do we tell which market we are in? There are a few indicators that you can look out for in order for you to identify which type of market we are in. Indicators number one, stock available. If you are in a buyer's market where the buyers have more power, means there is a lot of stock available, but there are not many buyers. So buyers have more option and buyers have more negotiation power. In a seller's market regards stock availability, that's where we are right now here in Australia nationwide on the 5th of November 2021. We are in a seller's market, means not enough houses available, not enough stock available, but a lot of demand. A lot of people want to buy, so means the sellers have a little bit more power. Of course, this is depend on different situation, if, if, if can be an emergency or whatever, but this is to give you a micro general understanding. Indicator number two, the property sit online for a long time. If you go on realestate.com during your domain and you've seen this property that is on the market for more than 40 days, more than a month, this is indicate that this you are in a buyer's market, means the buyer's getting a little bit more power. What does that mean? Anything that indicates 40 days plus, this is giving a little bit more time, a little bit more power to the buyers of that particular property or that particular area. In the real estate game, and healthy standards of time on the market is around 30 days or less. It's a fast campaign with an auction in mind or an expression of interest before the auction. A healthy standards on the market is around four weeks. Anything past the four weeks is moving slowly into the buyer's market. Another metric that we use to understand in which type of market we are in is how much under or over the price point is the property selling for. That's another indicator. In a buyer's market, means where the buyers have the power, the property usually gets sold under the price is quoted for. In a seller's market, like we are right now in Australia, kind of nationwide, usually the property gets sold above the quoted price means low stock level, a lot of demand, a lot of buyers in the game, so the property gets sold above or more than the quoted price. In a seller's market, more buyers than sellers, so sellers have more power. These buyers, they are willing to stretch themselves just to secure the property. This is in the seller's market. In a buyer's market, where buyers have more power and they have more negotiation power, and you can really grind down into negotiation and buy it under the quoted, pr the quoted price. So it's very important to understand in which type of markets you are in before you get into the game, so you already start with the end in mind. You already start with the right negotiation strategy. Spo Make sure you push a like button, subscribe, comment below. I'll see you next time. Spo